and stripped away by Dickerson. McGlure was ready to go up for a third attempt. Bibby in traffic scores the game's first points. Terrific. He hit earlier. And here comes set up Arizona. Yeah, they break early. No problem with the press. Bramlett for two and a free throw. Like this. Arizona off the rebound created the numbers just by blazing speed by Bramlett and Davison and Dickerson on the wings. Terrific pass. We've seen Bibby so many times with the no look. Freezes the defense with the eyes. Here he is. Boom. Great play. Good hands by Bramlett, who has been just a job off the boards. He had nine rebounds on Saturday. Bibby, three pointer. He's six of them Saturday. He continues to sizzle. Just a mini clinic by Lou Olson with his three front line players. Bibby, oh, he loves the he, second he, half. And he loves that side of the floor. And Prickett tried to bounce it off his leg. Bibby in the right spot. That is the second time that can, is sitting. With five to go, you think Lute Olsen's got a... Bibby, of course, made the two biggest free throws of his life in the Kansas game to seal things up. Well, put him up three. Kansas yep. still had the three three-point attempts. Well, if he doesn't hit any, they don't even have to go for the three. So the all-time high school scorer in the state of Arizona, the first freshman to start since Sean Elliott at Arizona. There's Cameron Mills for Epps. And I'm sure that Rick Pitino is only going to sit Epps down just for a few seconds because he's going to want it back in there for defense. There it is. In, in, in 88, when they lost to... Uh, Oklahoma, Elliott at a 31 and 11. Pick. There's that team quickness again. Bibby open three in Arizona. 62-59. Jim, three times Kentucky has had the number, but Simon breaks it. Ah! Overshot it, but Bibby runs it down and Turner bumped him. That's his fourth. Bibby with seven rebounds and he'll shoot two. It's double bonus on each side. Again, we get back to that quickness to the ball. Team quickness by Arizona, excellent. You saw Coach Wooden at halftime. He had a guard named Henry Bibby, Mike Bibby's father, back in 70 through 72 seasons. They won titles all three years. Coach Wooden told Henry that he's much better than you were. You know, Jim, your son. It's funny you'd bring that up. I was with both of them yesterday when Henry asked that question of Coach Wooden at the NABC banquet. Coach said, I believe. Drive. Turner, too strong. Ball on the floor. Bibby comes out with it. And he's fouled and will head to the line for two. Turner got the shot he wanted, Jim, on the drive. There was a clear out for him. He normally is going to put that shot away. You see the drive. He is really good at that shot. Put it up soft. And Turner fouls out. Huge play here. He reached back in. He'd like to have that shot back. He slapped it to the floor when he missed it. Wayne Turner with his fifth. Bibby goes to the line. Bibby shoots under 70%, but big in the key spots. Now, look, he's staying off that foul line. This is a very smart thing to do. Don't go on that line while the referees are talking. You can start to tighten up. Now he moves a little bit to it. You want to get in your normal motion. The Bibby family embraced. It can hardly stand it. He'll shoot two. Now Bibby does a smart thing again. He walks off the line while the controversy taking place here. Kentucky loses Prickett and Turner to fouls. <laughs> Shooter, Paget guarding the best penetrator is not his forte. But decisions must be going through the freshman's mind. He starts the dribble at eight. Now drives in, dishes. Davison banks it home. That was a bad matchup for Kentucky.